there is one man on Wall Street who doesn't seem to be buying the Trump administration and what it is selling on tax reform. J.P. Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon telling investors yesterday that tax reform won't happen in 2017. Charlie Gasparino, who do you believe, Mnuchin or Jamie Dimon? I believe Clayman. Forget about either of those <laughs> jerks. Uh, by the way, Liz, I remember when it was you and me and Cavuto, like the Israeli <laughs> army in the first war, right? We the were, Palmach. Yeah. We, yeah, we were throwing uh, seltzer bottles at the competition <laughs> and winning. Remember that? Well, now yeah. it's, it's, we've come a long way, we must say. Uh, sure have. And I'm glad I'm here. Me um, too. You but, can't you leave know, me ever. I, you know, it depends on how much money the other place is willing to pay me, to be honest with you. I'm completely <laughs> mercenary when it comes the, to this. The art stuff. of the deal. The <laughs> yes, art of the deal. I learned that from somebody. Um, you know what's interesting? This is kind of like not a story you generally do on a day where the market's up 300 or everybody's saying how great it is. But, uh, you know, listen, might as well throw a little bit of caution out there to the investor who's uh, buying up uh, the market based on uh, Donald Trump's uh, president. Trump speech last night, which was, I listened to it, an amazing speech, very presidential. And, you know, one, things that, one of the things that the market likes and, and big investors like, they like stability. And, you know, he showed that he is a, a very stable guy that uh, takes the office of the presidency very seriously. That's one half of the equation. The other half of the equation is uh, what I'm hearing and what you heard from Jamie Dimon, the, the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase yesterday, about taxes. Are we going to get the big tax cuts both on a corporate level? and on an individual level, but mainly on a corporate level. That's what's driving the markets this year. Steve Mnuchin, as he told Neil, as he told Maria uh, earlier, uh, is that uh, he's saying it's an August timetable for, the, for a plan to come out. Uh, based on everything that the, the administration has to do, including health care, what people like Diamond are saying is like, no, it's not, that this is a next year thing. And maybe and maybe pushed off into the middle of next year. Uh, I'm going to tell you this, uh, uh, Liz, Liz. Many Liz. big. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know it's Liz. Many big investors <laughs> are, are weary. I, I got you mixed up with Cavuto. What can I tell you? But uh, they're very wary about the Trump tax plan being enacted this year. And here's where how you know that. If you look at some of the hedge fund performance so far this year, listen. If you're invested in the S&P 500, did very well. To be honest with you, I believe in that type of index investing. I've been preaching that for a long time. If you're in a hedge fund right now, you're not doing well. Why is that? All these hedge funds are extremely defensive on this, in this market. Mm -hmm. uh, they're buying bonds. You notice that's why bond prices are up very sharply in recent weeks. Um, and they reflect what Jamie Dimon is saying, is that taxes and fiscal policy, meaning less regulations, a lower corporate tax rate, somewhere in the 15 to 20 percent range from the current 35 percent range, that that's going to be hard to achieve this year. And as such, stocks in the Dow, stocks in the S&P are overvalued because the, that, that fiscal stimulus isn't coming to later on. Now, I'm not going to tell you who to believe. I'm just going to tell you those are the two ideas out there. I will tell you this, that last night, that speech by uh, President Trump, allowed many investors to say, okay, at least we know this guy knows what he's doing, okay? So they think he'll do the right thing. But, you know, if you read that speech, it was very light on specifics, talked a lot about infrastructure spending, which a lot of investors don't like because they don't think it has a lasting bang for the buck in terms of corporate earnings and the economy, and not a lot on taxes. So I just throw that out there as a cautionary note uh, on this wonderful day. When